My guests at this time you may or may not know from one of about 47 television shows on E! or WWE or their YouTube channel which has like a million subscribers. Please welcome my very, very special and lovely guests at this time, Nikki and Bree, the Bella Twins. <laughs> Roman Reigns. That was pretty cool. Yeah, we kind of were like the shield coming in. Here, it was right? very shield esque. It's weird. I did the same hip swivel thing when I got on stage. Didn't get yeah. nearly the same <laughs> reaction. It was really inappropriate. I apologize. So, um, what's going on, guys? Nothing much. Gosh, nothing. Just, Just loved meeting fun. the Bella Army. I that know. Was awesome. Woo! Bella Army strong tonight. They, I made them like scream a second ago, so they're all clearly very worn out right now. So we're gonna have to get them back up. Yes, let's get, get them excited. Excited and loud. It's Friday night, right? I mean, if you Early. say free beer, then maybe people will get really excited. You guys are on like every TV <laughs> show there is. You should be able to arrange that. Can we get free beer? Yeah. Where's the kegs? Not Funny. you, Nakamura. You're not old enough to drink. <laughs> So hey, check it out. They brought these awesome leather couches. So let's utilize them to the best of our abilities. Um, so I'm sure everyone's used to seeing you on WWE all the time, but much to my dismay, you guys have not been around lately. What have you been up to? You know, just birth the baby. Just Come reproducing. <laughs> Me. How to make a mini, you know, Daniel Bryan, female version, that's all. I've been dancing. Who would have thought? <laughs> but I lost, but that's okay. Getting engaged, planning a wedding to the hottest man alive. <laughs> Tell us something, Nikki, about Dancing with the Stars, like some behind the scenes stuff that we wouldn't know. Ooh. Mm. That you got robbed? Yeah, seriously. Thank you, right? I should at least been the final three. Um, I thought you meant literally robbed, like somebody oh, stole yeah, your purse no. on the set. That would be, uh, that was pretty <laughs> yeah, exciting for yeah. a second. I don't know. I guess I really fell in love with dancing, which was crazy. And something that was funny is that um, I had a big issue where I always wanted to lead, and Artem would always have to remind me that the man leads. And then I was like, you're dealing with a female wrestler. I'm sorry. I'm just very aggressive. Um, but I like literally kicked his butt with like every day. Anytime I get uncomfortable, I would break out in a headlock or like try to take him out. And he's like, this is not wrestling. I'm like, sorry, I, I was really uncomfortable. <laughs> I like the hip toss you gave him in your first Oh game. yeah, how sick was that? <laughs> I was there live and I heard the big thump and I was like, oh. Well, I was nervous. And so I slammed him so hard because of my nerves. I wanted to make sure like I really got him over. And it was so loud. I don't think TV picked up on it, but everyone on it was like, oh, and he was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, he's out. <laughs> so I'm going to beat everybody here to the question because I'm sure someone's going to ask it. How's Birdie? Oh my Aww. gosh. I'm like the luckiest mom ever. I have the best baby. It's just, it's crazy because I knew that being a mom was going to be this great, but the love is just so like, indescribable you know you're a dad it's the I best know. feeling in the world i have to ask you nikki you getting baby fever Ugh, it sucks i am here i was like okay not having kids and then birdie like squeezes me in pulls my hair gives me these open mouth kisses and it like melts my heart and now i want to have a baby actually auntie coco was the first one to make birdie laugh I and birdie it kind of broke my heart and i got a little jealous i remind brian constantly 
and I try to get her to say Coco. I want her to say Coco before mommy and daddy. That's horrible. Why? Not for me. <laughs> I love it. Be devastated. Brian would be devastated. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are obviously keeping very busy while not being on WWE. So you've got Total Divas, of course, yep. which I watch every Wednesday night at 9 on E. Woo! Yeah. I ain't scared. <laughs> You also have Total Bellas. What's going on with that? So we are starting to film season three. We officially start January 2nd, yeah. But they came to Napa with us, and you are all going to get to see John and I get married. I know. It took, we, we weren't sure about it, and then we finally, you know, came to a decision that we would love to share it with our Bella Army, WWE Universe, and, you know, we took everyone on this journey, and so... We're gonna get married on TV. I know. And not in a ring, Vince has already asked, we're not going there. I don't wanna have any run-ins as I'm saying I do. So, no ring. Darn it. I know. What's going on with your uh, YouTube channel? I know that's keeping you guys busy. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Actually, Nikki just filmed something. Oh yeah, I was gonna spill the beans, but I didn't mean wanna like steal yeah. your Well, no, I don't know, thunder. surprise. Oh, it's a surprise. Oh, good thing oh, I didn't see, say I'm not yeah. saying anything. I know yeah. something you no. guys don't. So we're about to hit a million subscribers on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, it's awesome. So I was up till like super late the other night doing a video shoot. And when we hit a million, you all will get to see what I was working on. Yeah. It's really cool. Didn't you think it was it's cool? It's very, very cool. I promise. Yeah. yeah. So we're very excited about it. We, it's the YouTube thing's fun. Yeah, it's like know. more, which I didn't think you can get more organic footage of us, but you can. Um, you I wake up with us, you go to sleep with us. Yeah, you see my struggles Wash with my mom. Face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the next step has to be like all those YouTube videos where you guys just open toys. That's like a big thing yeah. I'm forced to watch for many yeah. hours every day. So you want to know one that was a big hit was Brian opening up his Christmas gift last year? because Brian doesn't like to rip um, the paper because we recycle all our stuff. I've used the same Christmas wrapping for five years, but he gently does it. It drives He's my family He's the worst to be with on Christmas morning. Yeah, everyone like gets some them bags like, oh now, God. it's hilarious, because they can't stand watching them unwrap a gift. But everyone on YouTube loved it. <laughs> it was like 14 hilarious. minutes, it was horrible. <laughs> 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 the worst. I imagine it's probably safe to assume that some of you may have questions for Nikki and Bree. Would that be accurate? Woo! Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, there is a microphone over there. And don't the be gentleman shy. gentleman in the red shirt. So if you guys want to orderly line up, I don't want this to look like a Black Friday mall rush, even though we're all extremely excited. Yes. I can sit here for a few more minutes. So I feel like a, a Bella Twins fanboy. I know all these crazy yeah, things. But I feel did. like I was pretty prepared for this. I, I like it. He did this his homework. Is, this is like late night with Corey Graves. <laughs> Coming soon to oh the WWE God. Network. Honestly, you that was should. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be a great idea. We had the bartender in the back. Like, definitely, that, that definitely. Cool. I'll bring that guy with the drum set too. Oh, he left. Yeah, that was actually pretty sick. I like that. Do we have some people over there that are ready to ask some very, very important questions? Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> He's going to do a run-in right now. Um, so I'd like to say two things. First of all, I'd like to say that as a woman who's been watching wrestling for longer than I'd like to admit, you guys have definitely revolutionized the sport and changed the way women are perceived. And for that, I really want to say thank you. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. So that this is Aiden. Lot. He's embarrassed to ask his question. Aww. So his question oh, is, what is your favorite John Cena match and Daniel Bryan match? Oh, hi, Aiden, by the way. You're so cute. Um, I mean, of course, my favorite John Cena match would be when I tagged with him at WrestleMania and got proposed to. Not, um, no, it can't be. A <laughs> I'm joking. Um, gosh, I've really liked a lot of his matches. I have to say, um, his first match against Kevin Owens was probably one of my favorite. I think it was very unexpected, and John did a lot of things that people hadn't seen in like so many years. So I think that was one of my favorite. Oh, no, actually, I really liked him and AJ Styles match last year at the Rumble. That was good. That I think was my ultimate favorite. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah, AJ and John at the Rumble last year. Gosh, I would have to say, uh, it's hard. There's so many with Brian, but definitely when he main evented WrestleMania. I actually think it was when he went against Triple H in the start of the show, beat him, 
and then went to win at the main event. That was a special WrestleMania, so it'll have to be that. Honestly, one more match, right? I know, he's working on it. <laughs> um, Brick, I actually have a question for you. When will you be returning to the ring? Who, for me? Or no, Corey, for I thought, Bree. oh, Bree. Oh, Bree, I thought you said Corey. I'm like, yeah, Bree. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> I'm done. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, I think you're in Brian's boat. Um, well, definitely in 2018, so. Yeah, mama. And um, I don't know exactly when, but um, I'm only coming back with her, so you're gonna see the Bella Twins together at some point in 2018. Yes. <laughs> yes, and then after that, I'm working on baby number two. So. Boo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what did um, you say? It said boo. <laughs> Nikki, I actually have a question for you. It, <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, right? I'm oh, not sure if John will mind, but will you go to Palm with me in six years? Oh, yes. I will. That's amazing. All right, All right thank you. Six years is a long time, and it could be a whole different ball game for you. <laughs> I'm going to still look good, I promise. <laughs> I'll stay in shape. <laughs> Okay, so for when you guys actually return, who would you guys want to wrestle the most? Ooh, that's so tough. It's really tough. <laughs> um, like, some of me, Asuka would be really good. I, I always have to think of two. I'm like, okay, Sasha and Bailey, or wait, is yeah. it Alexa and Naya? Right. And then I think of, like, oh, if we were causing chaos, and then all of a sudden out of there, nowhere, iconic duo arrives, and then I'm yeah. like, oh, we'll that's take you on. That's good. Um, gosh, then I want Becky and Charlotte would be cool. So I know there's so, a lot. And then there's a lot of girls causing chaos right now, which the Bellas usually do. So it'd kind of be cool to show up and be like, um, hey girls, this is our place. This is what right. we do. And then beat them all up. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good to me. <laughs> Hi ladies, how are you? Good, um, how are just you? a huge fan. I love you guys. I think you're such a huge inspiration. Thank you. Um, so we'd love to see if you guys ever feuded against each other once again. What kind of stipulation match would you want to see happen? Ooh. Hell in the cell. <laughs> Brie has to have her hands tied behind her back. <laughs> What'd you say? Ooh. Um, hair versus hair. Because I know shave I would win, head. so you would shave your head. Jeez, you <laughs> would do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, so many good ones. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. I just want to say you guys are so inspiring for all the fearless women who love to go Brie mode, right? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> so my question is, when you guys come back, will you do Twin Magic again? Well, shoot. I mean, I Will you get a padded to. bra? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, you would need the padded bra. Oh, yeah, you're I'm breastfeeding. Oh, yeah. Wait, we're the same now. Yeah, we're the same now. I mean, I'm natural. I would love to do Twin Magic again. Oh, did you just say you're natural? Oh, I am. Haters. <laughs> um, I mean, we would definitely try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's going to be in trouble later. Um, we would love to do Twin Magic. Oh, of course. Can I just say, as a professional bad guy, you can never tell when you're going to cheat. <laughs> That's... Exactly I right. I don't want to know when. I just want to make sure I see it again. Yeah, yeah. I like Good it. Good for you. <laughs> uh -oh. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to you guys, Paige and AJ Weed, the original four horsewomen of WWE. I like that. <laughs> and what are your thoughts on Paige's return to WWE? Oh, uh, finally. Gosh. Yeah, I Missed freaked her. out. I literally was, uh, it was such a great moment. Hearing her music, I was just, it gives me goosebumps actually yeah. thinking about it right now. So. And I like having bad Paige. Yeah. I like when Paige is a bad girl. Yeah. It's fun. It's about time now. Um, this is to the both of you. What would be your desired dream match with which diva from the past, like Lita or Trish? I was going to say, we'd love to go against Trish and Lita. Yeah. yeah we've been begging for the match forever. So maybe it'll happen. Yeah, that'd be fun. You're welcome. Aw. Hi, ladies. Hi. So this question is really for the both of you. Uh, how do you guys feel with the current crop of women that have just arrived uh, for the women's division? Do you feel that they could, if you guys, I don't think it's going to happen, but if you guys were just to say leave, do you think that they could pick up where you guys left off and fulfill the women's revolution? Definitely. I mean, I think since both of us have been away, they've definitely done that. <laughs> And they've been taking it to a whole nother level with all these history-making matches. I mean, even with Sasha and 
Lexi in Dubai. I mean, it's insane. So they're still I'll breaking barriers, and it's incredible what the women just from NXT coming up and doing. Yeah, and I, I like all those women debuting because it keeps it fresh and fun, and now we're going to be able to see all these matches we haven't seen in the future, and so I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Uh, WrestleMania, right? You know it. Right. <laughs> Me versus Brie. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Um, I heard something about Vince. Oh, I might as well hold it like this anyway. I heard Vince was thinking about doing a women's tag team division. And if that's true, are you guys in favor of that? Oh, um, gosh. Yeah. Better get a phone call. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the writers oh. have been annoyed from us the last decade. Yes. Tag we would absolutely love to be a part of that, 100%. Okay. That's why someone can't have baby number two. And I feel like there's <laughs> then I'll have no tag I feel partner. Like there's enough women to do it too. I think it'd be really great. So hopefully. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, hi again, Jason. Um, hey. So I have like a bunch of these. When they put like 200 of these in front of you at one time, is it like, oh, the kiss cards? <laughs> <laughs> I My lips get exhausted, or is it yeah. and like they get quick. super dry. But well, it's not quick because you have to reapply. It's like you have to reapply every single one. He's talking about the kiss cards. We have to usually we get a thousand, and we have to kiss each card, and they make all the girls do it. And you. yeah, you get a thousand. He has two hundred of them. Yeah. Wow. That's dedication. That Big is time. dedication. I like it. Hi, ladies. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Well, somebody already stole my question. I was going to ask about when Brie was going to come back. And I know you guys filmed Total Divas. I don't know how far in advance you do it, but the last episode I saw, you said that you want, that you missed being in front of a live audience. But you, I thought you had left for good to have Birdie, but now you already answered the question. But um, I just want to say, first of all, the name Birdie, that's my daughter's nickname. Oh. And when I, I heard that. that you guys were going to really name her Birdie, I was like, oh, my sweet angel bird. Oh, but, I and love that. Nikki, congratulations. Thank you held you. on for John. Good for you. Oh, all thank right. you. Congratulations, you ladies. You're so sweet. Thank, thank you. you. Mm, my baby. Mm -hmm. um, Birdie has been making me laugh a lot, as I say again. But when are you going to do your next promoting, Brie? Uh, when you did it with Paige, that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> How did I lose my shoe? You're talking oh, about? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brie. Uh, Not to get you mad, Nikki, but that was actually funny. Yeah, I no, it was good. With Paige. Um, gosh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe WrestleMania <laughs> weekend <laughs> when the husband's not around. <laughs> you mean the next episode of Total Divas next week when we take over Cabo? Oh shoot! Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> tune in <you>. Wednesday. <laughs> Hello. Um, my question's for Nikki. I was just wondering if you had any like set date for your wedding with John or if you like how far along you've planned. So I actually um, we had like a wedding planning, I guess, meeting, you call it. We had one yesterday for two hours and we do know our date now and our location. But I can't say I'm going to let the big man. I know secrets are the worst, but it's going really good. And I have the dress. I actually had the dress like a month after I got engaged. Wow, that's that was funny. the first thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, yes. But um, we have a lot of it, so I'm really, really excited. Right, Can't wait you. to be Mrs. Cena. That'll be nice. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, this might sound like a random question, but if you were to go to any fast food restaurant in the world, where would you go? Ooh, oh that's good. In the world? Whoa. I think I would say Nando's. <laughs> yeah. Nando's in Europe. I know Leah's like, yes, if she's here. <laughs> um, yeah, Nando's is a place overseas, and when we're on tour, they have it on our buses every night. Towards the end, you get sick of it, but then you kind of crave it once you leave. Is Starbucks considered fast food? Yeah, the sandwiches, maybe. They have a drive through right? Oh my god. I'm a vegetarian, so me and fast food we just don't get along. But everyone's like, Well, you oh, could get a hamburger with no meat. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have some like bread? Sandwich. Extra pickles. <laughs> Can I yeah. yeah. Thank you. Like, Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Hello. If Hi. you weren't a professional wrestler, what would you be? Ooh. 
Well, goodness, I wish I could say professional dancer, but I think that'd only be in the club. I'd be like, yeah, I'm a pro, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, um, I don't know. I think this is, sounds so cheesy, but uh, literally before wrestling, I wanted to join the Peace Corps, and it's actually funny, Brian oh, did too. Cute. And this is why I feel like we're soulmates, because I feel like no matter what, our souls were going to find each other. Um, so I, because I think it'd be amazing to travel the world and help people and all that. I know it sounds like beauty pageant answer, but I would love that. And I'd probably sell real estate. I have my real estate license and I really like it. I still <laughs> want that Bentley and be like, real estate. Okay. Yeah, I'd probably only sell oceanfront. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So I know I met you guys twice already, but I never got to say how much I love you guys and how much mm. you guys inspire me. But my question is, is, how is your wine business going and how is Freddie B going? Oh, thanks for asking. Wine's going good. We just bottled up our spring. Um, our vintage Chardonnay. Yeah, vintage Chardonnay and red blend this past Friday. Comes out in the spring. And then we also bottled up a rosé that will be a limited edition for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it tastes so good. It's just so fun to be in the wine business because now Napa's turned into business trips, which are never fully business For trips. Yeah. Um, and then Birdie Bee's doing really good. Thank you for asking. It's We have uh, some new collections coming out in January we're really excited about. And it's just cool to see the community of women build. And men will get you involved eventually down the road. But right now we're just focused on the women and empowering them and motivating them and inspiring Good luck with everything. Yeah, thank you. Hi, I just wanted to say I love you both so much. You guys are my idols. Oh, love you. And my question is, if you could fight anybody at WrestleMania, who would you fight? Ooh, that's good. Anyway. Um, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> I mean, um... Gosh, no, actually, I'd, yeah. I know, okay. you don't want me to be a part of it? Thanks. Oh, no, you could valet me. Oh. You could hold my title while I walk down the ramp. How about that? <laughs> uh, <what laughs> I'm just girl? kidding. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Oh, fine. We'll do a tag match. Ugh, I can't. I want to do a tag match with Brie. <laughs> well, I thought I was going to say tag match, and I would love to go against Trish and Lita, but now I'm going to think about someone else. <laughs> fine. Actually, I'll go against Trish. Be mom versus mom, and you could hold Birdie. Birdie, cool. <laughs> um, I actually don't have a question. I was just hoping you could help me. My little sister Caitlin was supposed to be with me. She's oh. homesick. Can you just kind of give her a little shout out? Yeah. Hi, Caitlin. Hope hey, you get Caitlin. better. What? Eat you your so chicken much. soup. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Um, I just had a question. Um, when um. When you guys come back, um, where you guys are going to be? Which brand? Um, Raw or SmackDown next year? I'm not sure. I hope, I mean, we're still waiting on the call. I'm sure we'll end up on SmackDown because of a certain general manager. <laughs> who was no help when I was there for a year getting beat up every night, but that's okay. Yeah. And um, I just want to say that you guys are really awesome. And Bree, Thank you. I've seen that you got, you're a really great mom and keep it up. And you guys made me and my brother, he's, I'm a twin and I, you made us very, feel very close. Mm -hmm. And I want to say thank Love you for that. you guys for that. We re I very appreciate for making us, me and my twin, very close. Oh, oh yay. Like Love. No, get closer then. A built-in best friend. It is. <laughs> Can I remind you that while someone's uh, husband might be a general manager, somebody else is a close relationship with a free agent. And uh, we like him Ooh. on Raw, too. Just pointing that out. Yeah. Just, I'm not going to stir true. up any controversy. I'm just, you know. See, yeah, could you Corey, imagine? we need to talk later. We'll have a talk. But yeah. I have a child, so uh, who would well, be traveling with me? We'll have to negotiate. Oh. We'll, we'll figure some things out. Well, hey, listen, we're running short on time. Okay. I'm going to take one more question from this gentleman right here who is waiting, and he's going to have the best question of no. the night. No. Woo! No pressure. <laughs> he's like, no. This question's for Bree. Uh, oh, I'm yes. <laughs> wow, she wins. Ugh. Are you still considering bed and breakfast? Um, no. <laughs> so they change their mind every week about everything. Well, Brian and I went and experienced the bre bed and breakfast and how someone runs it, and I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> it's so much work, and I get people who do that. And you would do it all. What? You would do it all. Brian would. would not help. And I cook, 
and I'm a very good cook, but oh dang, it's all vegetarian. I think people would hate my bed and breakfast. <laughs> be like, yeah, I'd be like, come get your Zen on, and people would be like, no, <laughs> get your Zen and starve on. <laughs> Juice. All right, well, I'm sure everyone here in the Nassau Coliseum would like to say thank you. I got one more final question. We both know oh. you guys are WWE superstars. You are moms, wives, fiancés. What's next for the Bellas? Ooh. Oh, my God. Marie, what's next? Got to have your irons in some fires, right? Something, something top secret you can't tell anyone but the people here? Exactly. Um. <laughs> well, we're about to become authors. That actually is true. And we have an announcement. Start writing a book on Sunday. Yeah. We just signed our contracts a few weeks ago. Yeah. And so you're, you're going to really tell all your secrets, right? <laughs> yeah. Secrets about a lot of stuff. But um, you'll get to not only follow our journey from childhood, going to the ring, but all our backstories that we haven't shared with people. The struggles, dealing with so much. And then... How mean Brie was to me all the time. All the time. And then overcoming all that and then being able to venture out, but know that home's always WWE, but being able to keep your home and still having fun all over the world. Yeah. So get to put author on that yeah. list now, too. So, yes, a book will be coming out. Probably a couple years, though, because our stories might take a long time. <laughs> no, it'll be different volumes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Lots to look forward to. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys, Thank WWE you. Universe, for hanging out with Thank us. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Time, Nikki and Bree, the Bellas.